It's Brave World! Brave World! Party time! Excellent! <laughs> For anyone that wonders what it's like to live in Colorado, it's uh, 35 degrees and sunny outside, and the ice cream trucks rolling by with what is that? Comedy holds him on the King of Angels. That's what it's like to live in Colorado. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Ah, oh, it's so cold. I'm frozen. At the finish line. Alright, Michael, one more time, let's go. Alright, doing the uh, junkyard walk with El Chaso Magnifico. This is a uh, Spanish name. Si. <laughs> si. <laughs> Road 9 and 11 D. At least it's a good view here. Oh, lovely. Be sure to enter to win my GoPro by subscribing to my channel. What'd you say? Huh? What'd you say? Fuck you, Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> you got the beer shits. <laughs> uh, fuck. So we found some fucking seats for his truck. Uh, shit, we gotta do video about your truck. Alright, so we got Chase a truck. We found him some seats for it. it looks pretty clean. Got some armrests. Uh, better than the shit he has. Fucking armrest is useless though. All right. So yeah, we're taking them. So they're twenty-six bucks because they're powered each. So yeah, like fifty-five bucks with tax probably. All right. Found a nine volt. Let's see if it works. Hey. Test that for me. Fuck. Test it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Fuck you. Just stick your tongue to it. No. Tell me if it works. <laughs> <laughs> we would have made our two bucks back already. Those things are like four dollars now. I just gotta say, if you can get to Walmart and buy a freaking Stanley. Look at this thing. I just ratchets any direction you turn it oh, i love this thing this is the jam oh yeah it's free all right so we're done all right a couple seats chase is happy we don't have dirt bag van seats anymore yeah <laughs> and uh yeah, another good day oh shit this alien looking motherfucker Make something out of that. Fucking construction. It's got a good view. got this fucking lithium ion fucking vibrate and saw because you can't take gas powered or generate anything in the fucking junkyard um, and then we're gonna go cut some rear fenders off of a Miata all right all right all right so we're at the Miata poor little blue turd we are going to be taking these clean ass rear quarter panels. Ow! Fuck. So yeah. Alright, so in preparation for uh, this 
stripping the paint down to bare metal. I'm taking these headlights off because there's nothing wrong with them. And I'm gonna replace them with the old ones from the other Miata to uh, strip because we don't care about them. All right, so I got the headlights swapped, hood props swapped. Um, there's the charcoal canister delete done. I'll do a, a cold air intake eventually. Um, yeah, for now, I think that's it. <clears throat> it's time to get stripping. So we have the before. It's white, obviously. So I've successfully taped off the edges of everywhere that I don't want the stripper to get to. Uh, pulled the bumper, etc. Um, so now all I gotta do is strip it. Obviously, this stuff needs to be at a warm temperature. And um, what is it? it? Needs to be warm. And uh, yeah, as long as it's for metal. All right, so it only stripped in the areas where it was really thick, which I kind of knew was gonna happen because it's not an aircraft stripper, so to speak. But I'm digging this awesome, like, forest green, I guess it's some kind of coating that was put on from the factory. But, um. I'm going to put some more on and see what happens. Uh, probably going to end up having to get some aircraft stripper. Because this stuff is just uh, tedious. Alright, so after pretty much all day soaking with stripper and then uh, scraping. Who knew these were forest green underneath? But, uh... But nobody knew that. But yeah, there's also some hidden damage here already. Um, as well as what I already had to fix. So clearly not a big deal. That whole fender needs replacing anyway. And then I don't know what the hell they put down here, but this shit is like super, super thick. So I don't know if I'm going to have to sand it off or what. But um, yeah. Tomorrow, more. Yeah, and you can just keep blowing it out too. So you're just hyper yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. <laughs> you should put a bean bag behind them or something. Yeah, that's right. something they can call. Whatever you do, don't lock your knees. Am I allowed to make them laugh while they're doing it?
The, the, the dab guy at the dab lounge has said the once. But it's a soft jacket. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that sucks.